Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the DBI Cartoons Radio Vlog. This is the radio vlog where I discuss anything on cartoons, animation, or my own cartoon and animation work. So for this radio vlog, I want to talk about my origin story for making cartoons. A little over six years ago now, I made a radio vlog about what inspired me to make animated content. I discussed my origin story on where it all began, but it was explained in a nutshell at the time, and I had another topic too. So I'm going to explain my origin story in more detail, as I am ready to explain at this point. So, as I said in the previous radio episode, it started out when, in high school, in my sophomore year, fellow students would watch Flash animations, and they watched them on school-issued laptops that we would borrow in class. I would then go on the sites and watch that Flash animation content myself, even though we were not really supposed to, as the laptops were intended for educational use only. These were on sites like Cheeseware, that site I know is no longer a site to visit, and a couple other sites. So after a while, when I was a junior, I was watching this stuff and I thought about making my own anime content at home. So I used Movie Maker on my Dell Windows XP computer and used frames made in Microsoft Paint. That's the computer I had at the time. And I was just going for it with the software I had available. I wanted to see if I could shrink certain frames in Movie Maker to make the characters talk like in the Flash animations I saw, and it worked, although not as fast as I make the frames now. The first animated video I would make would be one on my brother Tanner trying to prank call a Dell computer representative. I played as the representative he was calling. There wasn't really much of a video except a photo of him and his mouth moving up and down. After that, I would make other animated videos for fun on that same Windows XP. They even included I Just Want to Be Lazy and The Stupidest Police Officer, which I still have uploaded. I made all these videos around like late 2006 to 2007. And animated cartoons were not the only thing I made on that computer. But there were also pictures I printed out to make laminated bookmarks and badges print, cut out, laminate, and for the badges I would glue a safety pin. I also printed out pictures for a button maker, something I don't have or do anymore. And where in the world would I make all of this content, especially in 2006 and 2007 and even 2008? You would say that the obvious answer was in my own house, and you'd be right, but where is that house? Well, it was in a small town called Shapley, Maine. A rural town at its finest. It's a place of forested wilderness, lakeside camps, and farms. Doesn't sound like the ideal place for an animation studio, but it was the place I had. So what about starting this YouTube channel? Well, I didn't start my YouTube channel until January 2008. Although there were cartoon videos that I never uploaded on YouTube. And others I put up, but... Uh, taken down long ago. I uploaded Stupidest Police Officer and I Just Want to Be Lazy and still have them up. I think I had to ask my mom if it was okay to make an account on YouTube since I was 17 at the time, and she said it was okay. Oh, and not, also not to mention at the time we had dial-up connection. Yeah. So we didn't have high-speed internet until 2011. And then in June 2008 I graduated high school and during that time and throughout high school, I had prospects for a rock music career. But over the years, nothing went far, and that eventually faded. It was like the top thing on my list. Then a few months later, after graduating high school, I started my community college career at York County Community College in Wells, Maine. I would take classes in animation, art, and graphic design. While well, music was, again, still on top of my list. I've taken one class in Flash and a few other courses where I use NewTek Lightwave. One class for modeling and another for layout. The programs were tough to use at first. But in my third NewTek Lightwave class, I got better at NewTek Lightwave. The animation I up uploaded 
called a brief light wave short. That one with the cannonball firing at the ship was one of the two final projects. The other was some effects video. The professor wanted that, um, the one I did of that cannonball in the ship, the professor wanted that to be brief, which is why it's the short video it is. So then I graduated in 2012 and got a degree in digital media. So I went again for a business degree for the next few years, and that too was a success. I got my degree in that in 2017. And when I was working on the business degree, I kept at it with graphic design content and made my brand Devon Bliss Illustrations, which is also what I use for the brand for my animation work. I couldn't use Bliss Studios as that name was taken. So at first, animating was something I would do for fun. And then in 2013 and 2014, when I started to do art and got a new exciting interest in doing artwork, I would include animating as part of my illustrative work that I do, despite still doing MS Paint animations at the time. I would even finally give up on the rock music I ambitions with the this new calling. So nowadays I'm still at it with animating and still active with the channel I use since 2008, along with my artwork and graphic design. And I no longer use a Windows XP, nor do I make MS Paint Movie Maker animations, as I've now retired from this practice. Nor do I recommend making this kind of content anymore, or use the Windows XP Movie Maker, especially with the freezing after so much progress, if you don't save, like, often, as well as the bad quality 40p end product. So, that's my origin of where I began as an animator, the animation side of my work. When I started, I just, again, went for it. But anyway, what do you guys think? What was your origin story, or what inspired you guys to make animated content? Feel free to share your thoughts, or even suggest or request topics for future radio vlogs. But in the meantime, this is Devon Bliss signing out, ready to tune in again next time. <laughs>